Hey y'all, it's Sharon and I'm back to share another policing experience with you guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm a retired detective. I worked for 20 years for a Southeastern city in the US and I was also in the military. I'm sharing my experiences and perspectives in hopes of helping others in similar situations or just to provide a different perspective. And with that being said, I'm gonna make it real quick, you guys. I was on YouTube, I think it was, and I was watching a video and it was a pastor, he calls himself an apostle, and he was talking about women and being dressed like strippers and how a man is gonna look and things like that. And I commented, I don't usually comment, but I commented. And my comment was, it doesn't matter what the woman is wearing, it comes back to what the person looking is responding to. And so I went back and forth with two or three people there was this one guy, we, we basically had a dialogue. The other two kind of fell off. But he kept going back to the fact that this lady, whoever, was immodestly, she was immodest in dress, and how um, she was to blame if a man were to whistle at her or come up to her and say something, you know, crass. And I asked him, I said, so what you're basically saying, she's responsible for the abuse that she's receiving. And he basically was saying yes, because uh, she's wearing the clothes and she knows how she's dressed and men are gonna react. And I said, so, and now mind you, they brought faith into it and God. So I said, so being a child of God, when does the Holy Spirit, or when do you go to the Holy Spirit and ask, okay, I see this lady over here looking kind of stripper-ish. What should I do about it? Of course we don't do that, but, what I was saying to him was, whatever you filter through the look, whatever you filter it through is what's gonna come up. So he said, it's like walking in public with a plate of meat and there are dogs around. So I, I went there with him. I said, so basically what you just said was, as a human being, that's the lowest function that we can function at is carnal, you're reacting. I said, but you just said you're a child of God and you believe in God and you believe in Jesus. So if you believe in him, he gives you the Holy Spirit to help you make decisions. And a fruit of making decisions based on the Holy Spirit is self-control. I said, so what about self-control? But he kept going back to what the woman was wearing. And I'm trying to get him to see this. It's not, it doesn't matter. It's none of our business what she's wearing. Well, yes, we see it. And depending on what comes out of you, meaning what's in you already, you could either pray for her real quick and say, you know what, she doesn't even really know the truth. Pray for her and keep it moving. Or we gonna do like some of us do, girl, did you look, 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 look. Or, mm, you know that, mm. And for the West Indians, you point with your lips and everybody know what to look at, right? That judgmental carnality is the lowest form of functioning as a human you could be. But again, if you're, if you, if you're in faith, Buddha, whoever you have faith in, you come up to a higher level. You're supposed to anyway. Again, we went back and forth and we agreed to disagree. And then another person came on and added the same thing about the female and what she's wearing and women don't want to take accountability. And I said, it's not that women don't want to take accountability. And I asked this person, I said, so what could you do or say to Jesus to convince Jesus to agree with the thoughts that you're having about her? And he went back to, she's wearing stripper clothes, so she's gonna get stripper reaction. Okay. And I told him to read the thread that I just discussed. And then I said, okay, since R. Kelly's in the news right now, and I remember doing this in the office, I asked the guys, I said, what, since people are blaming the, the girls and the parents, if I bring my daughter, 15 year old daughter to you to mentor, leave her there, trust you with her, and now you two are alone, what could she possibly say or do for you to sleep with her? And I said, I don't even wanna know. I said, it's, it's rhetorical. And I said, hopefully the type of man you are, you're gonna say to her, okay, you being a little bit fast, Sharon, come get your daughter or, or girl, get out of here because it's not in you to do. It's not in you to, to take advantage. It's not in you to, oh, really? Hmm. She want to do what? Is she only 15? How can I get around this? It's not in you to do it. So you won't entertain it. And that's my whole 
idea I was trying to convey to all these other people that said the woman was to blame. So guess what I did? I thought about that in policing. And where did I see that most? I wore this uniform for 20 years and I've seen a lot. And with the recent environment and the way uh, the community and the police, they're not really meshing, have they ever? But okay, I digress. A lot of unarmed shootings of people of color. And then I always hear this, what about black on black crime? <laughs> wow, what about it? We could talk about it, but can we address the fact that a lot of people are being shot and they're unarmed and they happen to be people of color? Let's talk about that. We can talk about black on black crime. I have no issue with talking about it, but it's not, it's not because of black on black crime that people are getting shot and killed and they're unarmed. There's something within the policing, with, within criminal justice that needs to be fixed. It's a system and there are people in the system that keep this, this, this thing from happening, this phenomenon. It keeps it happening. It keeps happening. So there's something that we need to address. And like I said, I have a plan. I wrote it all out. But it's just like the guy that was I was talking to earlier about the women being dressed stripperish and it's their fault. It's not their fault that you're looking. And it's not their fault because of your reaction. It's something with you within you that's being conjured up or being stirred up to make you respond the way you do. Hence, criminal justice system. Something is going on because if you look at the FBI uh, crime stats, I want to say they're up to 2018 now there is a higher number of people being shot and killed that are people of color and they're unarmed. And then if you look at police being shot and killed by a firearm, who's doing that? There's some fear that's, that's embedded within policing that we need to get out. We need to get that out and root that out. Uh, and like I said, I have a plan, but I just want to share that with you guys. Hit like, subscribe. Um, take a look at our online store. The link is in the description. I created some notebooks. The links for those are in the description. You don't have to search. They go straight to Amazon. And as per usual, guys, always remember, you don't necessarily have to go through a thing to learn from it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.